is going on guys um, headed off to the shop Sunday morning we're gonna start tearing down the sea can notch today um, I'm kind of trying to think about uh, how I want to do it um, I think we're gonna make it a two or three part video um, kind of try to spread it out for some content um, so the video for Monday will be like the beginning of the teardown and then next Saturday um, you know middle and then the week after that uh, the end right and then um, Mike if I get it all done today uh, Mike's supposed to take the car next weekend so he will be bringing the, the donor car up and which we'll have a, a reveal video on that because you guys kind of know what's going on with it but uh, you don't know exactly what's going on with it so but the donor car will be coming up yes we have a complete car to do what we're doing should get interesting guys and then like I said I do have a couple options for myself which hopefully We'll have a video on that too because I'm supposed to go see that next weekend. But you know, things keep up, keep binding up my plans. You know, I, I moved stuff from this weekend to next weekend, and then the wife's like, Oh, you know, my dad wants us to come out for Christmas, and they're a couple hours away. So now, um, you know, I gotta try to move my Saturday stuff to Sunday again. And you know, it's just that time of year, guys. So I'm gonna try to get stuff out for you. You know, I'm trying we're it's just a busy month with, for me especially with work and things like that so you know it's the busiest time of year for us so we're gonna try to get it get some stuff out for you guys okay so I really appreciate you guys sticking around and you know commenting even on the little just talking videos and stuff like that and things like that so um, like I said I got my coffees I got my energy drinks I'm ready to rock today so we're gonna get up to the shop when we're there, we're going to probably have to move some stuff around and then we're going to just get right into it, guys. So, we'll see you there. So, we are at the shop. Shelby is on the hoist. I don't know what Mike's doing with it, but he's probably checking it out or something. Don't mind these washers. We were uh, having some clearance issues with um, the inner valve stem on the forged wheels. Um, oh, here's the rear one over here. So these are like three piece true forged wheels. And apparently this valve stem here was hitting on the inside. So yeah, so he's got that there. So we're gonna start working on the C can. Under here, we're just gonna start pulling the exhaust off, the drive shaft out. We're gonna drain the trans fluid, um, disconnect everything under here first. Then we're gonna lower the car back down and then we're gonna work on the top. The plan is to pull the trans and in the motor out together um, and uh, keep them attached um, and then go from there. One important thing guys, if you're gonna do that with an automatic transmission, make sure you undo your torque converter, right? Uh, whilst it's in the air. Um, cause once this is sitting on the floor, it's going to be hard to disconnect that torque converter. And when you go to separate the, the two, the transmission and the motor, the torque converter was stuck to the flywheel and then you'll make a mess. Fluid will, the trans will pull out from the torque converter and fluid will pour everywhere. Okay. So just undo it. So when it's on the floor, you can just undo the bell, bell housing if you want to take it apart and go from there. So that's about it. So I'm just going to get stuff together ready i'm gonna set up a light and uh we're gonna get at it all right okay guys so you're gonna have a, a below me upward um look well, of me doing this because i uh i don't have, i can't find the tall stand for some strange reason so we're just gonna start pulling the exhaust off her and then uh do the exhaust, um, drive shaft, we'll disconnect, we'll get the drive shaft um, or the transmission mount out, uh, disconnect the shifter cable, um, the 
O2 sensors, all that stuff. And um, we'll have the tranny sitting on the cross member, so when we go to pull it out, we can just, it'll hold it, because I'm gonna roll it off the drive on to lift the engine out when we're ready to go. We're gonna disconnect the engine mount, so else we're down here, anything that's down here, we're gonna disconnect, we're gonna do it right whilst we're under here. So when we lower the car down, we don't have to put it back up in theory. Okay, so we're gonna start getting this out. And then, uh, we might switch the GoPro. We might do time lapse, I don't know yet. If you see my gut, guys, just bear with me. And then getting, you know, I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I used to be 315 pounds. So I uh, did the, the low carb diet and I lost over 200 or over 115 pounds I've lost. So I've, uh, but I fluctuate between like 185 pounds and 200 pounds. So I've gained a little bit back in the last couple months. So. see my gut there <laughs> so um, uh, let's get this out All right. of course it's a big size on this side so I'm gonna go get this H pipe out and then we'll be back okay guys I figured out the lighting situation fuck that's bright um, it's nice to have Mike he's a contractor so in the little room I found this dual beam LED, see how bright that is? Sweetness, so when we're under here, we can see everything. So we're just gonna cut some tie wraps off here, guys. I wanna try to show you as much as this as possible. I don't have my little cameraman with me today because um, he, it's a lot of stuff and he'll get bored. So, um, you know, I don't wanna have him just hanging out here doing nothing unfortunately um so i'm just gonna have to try to keep you guys out of the light it's super bright maybe i'll turn down to one i don't think we need to there we go that's a bit better all right so we're just disconnecting as much stuff as here as we can i think i'm gonna sorry i think i'm gonna pull the o2 sensors out so when we set this on the floor it doesn't uh break the O2 sensors because you can see they're right there so probably pull those out we're going to disconnect the torque converter um, pull all the wiring from under here I'll probably do the alternator everything else from here because it's easier and uh, yeah right here. there we go get that out of the way we're going to undo the engine mounts and kind of cut all these harnesses this all essentially is going to be not used on this car, guys. So, every all this is essentially going. And, uh, yeah, we'll probably drain the coolant whilst we're up here. This rad don't got a drain on it. That'll suck. Who makes a rad with no drain? Honestly, bro. So, on the opposite side, I don't know. Anyway, so, I'm going to get these O2 sensors out. We're gonna disconnect the trans mount. We're gonna to try to get out of the way. We're gonna pull the speed out. Um, disconnect this for the shifter cable. Actually, maybe we'll do the shifter cable on this side. Or, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. And then uh, we're gonna try to leave this in so it can hold the trans and uh, pull these out, mounts. I pretty much have everything up here undone wiring wise all this o2 center harness stuff the starter um i gotta pop that off still um converter is undone um i got the transmission cooler lines undone tucked away we might still be able to reuse those so now i'm coming back to get the drive shaft out i've dr i've drained the trans um so now we gotta get these <sighs> drive shaft bolts out there 12 point um i did have a special snap-on tool to do that but i don't have it right now it was an impact 
I've had it for 20 years, but I broke it working on the F-150. Um, so the easiest way to get these out, because you can see this is pretty kind of rusty, um, and the, these threads are Loctited from factory. So just hit them with a little bit of heat with the torch or a little bit of propane torch, and this is what happens. They just, they literally come, I wonder if it's cool enough, they hand loose, so you can literally just roll them out. It's still a little bit hot. It's a good thing I don't got a lot of feeling in my fingers. But yeah, so they come factory with Loctite. And it's always a good idea when you reinstall these guys, put some Loctite on them or just get new ones. They're not expensive, like 12 bucks, Rock Auto, whatever. So that's kind of how I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea. So you just a little bit of heat and they're loose. So sometimes they give you a little bit extra hassle, but you can see this one's loose. Um, one of the other issues is because it's got an aluminum drive shaft in it, your clearance to get your socket and ratchet or your long extension and your swivel head in here is a little bit tough. So sometimes you might have to just use a wrench. So I just wanted to give you guys a little thing on that. We're going to pull the drive shaft out. Um, then we'll go over it. I'll show you exactly what I did. I'm gonna, I do the engine mounts. Then we're going to lower her down. We're going to get the blower off. Um, drain the coolant um, and pull the upper intake off. Uh, so we have placed the cherry pick the motor and then she's gonna slide out. This complete process guys, depending on how long it takes me to get the blower out, just to pull the motor out, it's like half hour, maybe 45 minutes. This is actually going pretty smooth considering it's been sitting and there's some stuff so rusty, it's actually coming loose, which is pretty amazing. So once we get it down, I get everything disconnected. We'll double check underneath, make sure everything's disconnected. Then we're gonna roll it off this hoist because it's gonna be gone anyways. Um, and then we're gonna cherry pick it right from the floor. So uh, then once that's done, we just have to switch the wheels out to the wheels it's gonna go to the body shop with and it's gone guys. So um, yeah. car is lowered down now we start hitting this shit um we're gonna disconnect the blower all this stuff get it out of the way um i'm gonna pull the upper intake off just so i have more clearance for grabbing the motor um and we're gonna take the, the rat out we're gonna pull the pulleys off probably and a few other things and we're gonna pull the hood off. Probably the first thing we're gonna do is pull the hood off and it'll just, we'll just lift her out, okay? So um, I'm gonna try to set up a time lapse of me pulling um, the blower out. Um, if I find anything that I feel is important um, for removal or anything, um, I'll let you know, but pretty much you're just, unbolting it from this bracket right there's an intake tube there's a, another intake tube um there's feed oil feed lines there's an oil return line and obviously belts and uh it's a pretty pretty straightforward guys so um i'm gonna try to set up the camera somehow so we can get a time lapse i'm not sure where i'm gonna put it yet i might use the gotro suction cup it to the side of the hoist arm or something i don't know can GoPros do time lapse? I don't even know. So that's what's happening, guys. So it's going to be a pretty easy process. We obviously have to undo all the harnesses and everything, but I'll, when we go to do that stuff, I will step, like, kind of explain it to you. Um, but right now, the first part of the series is obviously doing the underneath and getting the blower off. So that's what we're going to do. Then the next video will be getting the motor out and stuff like that. Okay, guys?
All right, guys, it finally happened. I smashed a knuckle. <sighs> Wouldn't be working on a fox if we didn't smash some shit, right? I got the rat out. Um, pull the belt off here. Um, I'm just gonna set everything up here for the blower. Um, we're just taking off all the air intake stuff and everything. Um, and we have to disconnect this unit, um, this line here, and, uh, <clears throat> And uh, where's the other one? Once we lift it up, get it unbolted, there's gonna be a return line in the bottom that we'll have to disconnect. And this whole unit should pop right out. And then um, <clears throat> I'll start taking off the front accessory stuff uh, so we can have as much clearance in the front as possible, even though there is a lot, but this blower pulley comes out a lot farther than factory. So we're gonna get that off, we're gonna get this off and uh then we'll start doing the rest of it so i just wanted to give you an update of where we were at we're gonna hit the time lapse again i'm gonna start unbolting the blower here and uh we'll get her done All right, guys, so I got the blower disconnected. I just wanted to show you if I can get you down in here. I got the oil feed line disconnected. And then down here, there's a line and there's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a clamp. We just got to undo the clamp, pop that off. Fluid's probably going to drain out of the unit. So try to have a rag handy so you don't make a huge mess of your shop. And then we're just going to set the unit over there and then we're going to proceed with pulling the rest of the accessories off and all that stuff and the intake and the wiring harness and then this we're going to move the hood and uh we should be ready to pull this out and i'm not sure what time it is but uh i've only been here for about an hour kind of working so on and off trying to double check on my videos and things like that so not too bad guys not too bad so but if you guys are fox body guys you know the deal you know the deal so we're just gonna pop this off and uh move on to the next step all right guys so that's the first part of the video obviously you can see where i'm at right now um blower very easy to take off nothing too crazy you know what i mean um pretty straightforward um yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, that kit is for sale. Um, Mike is selling it. So if you're on Instagram or whatever, you can look up uh, One Evil LX. And uh, that's Mike. You can look him up or you can shoot me a message. Um, he wants like 3,500 bucks, I think, or three grand. You know, I don't know if there's wiggle room. It's something that you'll have to talk to him about. I can put you in touch if you are interested in the blower. Everything is for sale, drivetrain wise. Um, engine, um, the heads, the intake, um, the computers. We have two A9L computers. Um, it's all pretty much for sale. So Mike knows what he wants. He's a kind of a stubborn fella. So. If he doesn't get what he wants he'll keep it he's he's a bit of a hoarder he doesn't care so if you guys are serious you know we can hook you up or whatever right so anyways um next video will be me pulling this apart all right getting the motor out okay have a good day guys thanks for watching